Evening, I'm Dave and I'm coming to you from the Big Sky Hideaway in Lincolnshire in England. This is our camping and glamping farm. We've got our pack as a barn shaped event space and also four acres of woodland, which over the warmer summer months, we transform into a hammock village. I've loved hammocking for decades and really like introducing people to what it's like to swing between the trees. Each year we try out some different hammocks as well. So we've got all shapes and sizes. And over the last couple of days, I've been testing out uh, hammocks from a new brand called Ticket to the Moon. Now they're based in Bali, Indonesia. And although I haven't met the team from TTTM, uh, they seem uh, via email uh, and online to be a really, really nice company. Uh, and for me, the, the acid test is usually how the hammocks uh, operate and feel and also look. Uh, you can't deny that the way a hammock looks can tempt someone to spend a night in it. So we've got two hammocks from Ticket to the Moon and I should say now uh, they were given to us uh, so we can test them out and get people in them at our hammock village. I uh, haven't been paid for anything and I just thought that I'd do a, uh, a review about these two hammocks. The first one is enormous. It's the biggest hammock I've ever seen. It's called the Mammock and I think online they call it Super Size but it's bigger than Super Size. Uh, but we'll do a separate film on that one. What I'm going to focus on now is the original Pro. I've done adventures and expeditions all over the world and I always prefer to hammock camp where possible. Uh, sometimes treeless planes just don't cut it. So I'm always on the lookout for a really nice lightweight hammock setup that kind of ticks all of the boxes and I have brought all of those needs to the hammock village at Big Sky. Even in the summer the nights can be quite cool so the hammocks need to be warm, they need to be comfortable. Uh, in an ideal world, especially for a lightweight hammock which I wouldn't leave up all the time, it should be easy to, to put up and then pack away and carry if you're on the move. And then for people who've never spent a night in a hammock they want to be dry, and they want to feel like they're, they're safe and enclosed. Uh, and the original Pro ticks a lot of those boxes for me. First up, tree straps. Really, really important. If you've never used a hammock before, always use tree straps because it helps to spread the load of the hammock around the bark of the tree and therefore not harming the tree. First impressions, small details really count. And uh, there's this little elastic loop on the tree strap which helps keep it all together when you've bundled it up and you're not using it. So how to set up a tree strap. You find the end with one hoop and then pass the rest all the way around and then pass the other end through that single hoop and that has loads of extra hoops to help you choose your distance and the tightness for your hammock. Okay one down let's do the other one. I've chosen a really weird tree to do this off. So straight from the off, what I noticed was the shape of the bags. They're really, really cool and they're made from off cuts uh, from all the work that Ticket to the Moon do. They're literally shaped like a banana or a crescent moon or a hammock and they look really, really good. They open halfway and then you can just really quickly hook one end carabiner to the tree straps and, uh, and, and pull it out and set it up. With the tree straps on, now it's time to put up the original Pro, which is the hammock and the bug net. Uh, it comes all integrated and you might be wondering, why do you have the label on? Well, I put it up a couple of times before, but I just really like keeping the labels on. It makes it feel new, doesn't it? The bag opens halfway. And then right at the top would be the last carabiner that came out. So I'm gonna start with the very end hoop on the tree strap at this end. And then... I'm just gonna pop the bag in the hammock for now. And because it was a little bit too tight to reach the second hoop up, I'm just gonna get in it help the tree straps find their position and that should loosen everything off just a touch at least enough to reach the next 
poop almost comfortably. So with the original Pro, you've got the hammock with integrated bug net, which you can also zip off if you just want kind of a normal uh, lounging hammock experience. And then there's the moon quilt, which traps a layer of warm air in between the quilt and the hammock. Right, next up, we've got the moon quilt. This doubles up as a sleeping bag or as an under quilt for the hammock. So there's the hood for the sleeping bag, which I have already taken off. And the idea is that you take the whole bag out and just lay it in here and get yourself sorted first. The idea behind an under quilt is it stops this ghostly chill coming up through the base of the hammock, which is really thin material. And as you'll see, the underquilt will sit right underneath the hammock, trapping a small layer of warm air between the hammock and the quilt, therefore keeping you warm. Two carabiners, one from each corner at each end, should slip between the little rope at the end of the hammock. I might need to loosen it off. And the quilt on, we just need to tighten it up now. Finally, you've got the moon tarp. And what I really like about this tarp is, while it's very lightweight and definitely not uh, one that you'd leave up for days and days on end, you know, it's a, it's a really nice traveling setup, this. But I really like the way it folds in on the sides and you kind of get that really nice cocoon feel, whether you're sitting on the floor or lounging in the hammock. Moon tarp by Ticket to the Moon. Yet again, another little banana shaped, moon shaped package. Mm -hmm opens halfway. I'm excited about this because most tarps are just boring and rectangular. Yet this has a little added function which gives it the edge over most tarps. In fact it's got two added functions. One of my least favourite things about camping is dealing with a cat's cradle, the spaghetti of guy ropes. Yet there's little pouches on the underside of this tarp, everywhere where there's a guy rope, so you can just shove them in and life's good. Little bag of orange pegs. You don't immediately peg down the furthest one, you take one in. To loosen it, I'd have less guy. You just pull that like that. It's a beautiful day today. But if a storm was raging, you can use these extra side flaps to make a lovely little cocoon. So you can join them together. Just make this sleeping space all the more magical. You can pull it tight or release. And you've also got guy ropes down the bottom of these flaps to peg into the ground if needed, but actually the weather's too good. So, looking nice. It's all made really nicely. I've tried, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 brands over the past few years of, of hammocks and uh, 
I'm still discovering like, new ways to, to do different things and Ticket to the Moon have definitely taught me a few things. They've got some really nice little touches, little pockets inside the moon quilt, for example. Nice little touch, pocket inside the quilt. Boop. And also little pouches just inside each guy rope uh, on, the, on the inside of the, of the moon tarp, just to tuck all those loose ends away and also prevent that spaghetti scramble that you get if you if you don't have a little pouch to put your guy ropes in every time i seem to unpack uh, other tarps and tents uh, there's just there's just hours of untangling to do before i'm ready to to sleep not with this one i really like that on the whole it's a really good looking uh, piece of kit and i know that uh, for certain events when people want to try something new, I'll definitely be putting this up in the woodlands. So if you're coming to Big Sky and you want to try out a Ticket to the Moon original pro hammock and the moon tarp and the moon quilt, then just let us know and uh, we can definitely sort that out for you. The whole thing just feels nice. The zips work, really, really important. None of that catching on a bug net or anything, just and you're done. There's an adjustable ridge line in the hammock as well, uh, which is, I guess some people call it a whoopee sling and there's so many different names for them, but you can just tighten or loosen the ridge line depending on how you want to be sleeping. The aim is to have this ridge line as tight as possible so it flattens out your sleeping surface. So you can, uh, and it comes with the tabs on them. So that's to shorten i.e. to tighten or to extend. So let me show you, if you want to extend it, that's really crazy loose now. So I want to tighten it up. So you pull the shorten and just make it as tight as possible. Nice straight line. There's a lovely little hanging organizer off that ridge line as well. So you can put your phone, your head torch, other bits and bobs when you're camping. All in all, the entire setup uh, comes in really, really light. I'd be super happy uh, to, to chuck it into a fairly small rucksack uh, and not feel like I'm carrying too much bulk. Certainly lighter than your average uh, tent setup with uh, a similar amount of room. And yeah, having spent a couple of nights in this one, I've slept well, uh, even, even on the first night, which is, which is unusual. So, Ticket to the Moon, Original Pro, I'm going to tell you all about the Mammoth in a different film, uh, but check out the website. They've got all kinds of products and their, their standard hammock as well. You can pick in all different colours, shapes and sizes. In the description below, I've left a little coupon code there so you can get 10% off uh, and I get a little cream off the top as well, which is always nice, isn't it? So if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. Uh, and if you want to test one out, come over to the Big Sky Hideaway. We'll have them up all year. Ha <laughs> ha.